Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we are playing Warplanes WW2 Dogfight. It's free to play on Steam. Um, it's from the same people who made Space Commander War and Trade. If you like that game, you will probably like this one. But this is just a continuation of the playthrough. And I was looking at this. We have 500 gold. I think... Here, let's go like this. I think we're going to keep getting gold as we go along. Um, but... You know, like, you can see that a lot of these... Are, so, okay, let me backtrack a little bit. The main way I've been getting gold so far is by completing these achievements. And they've been coming in pretty steadily to the point where I haven't really had to worry about gold at all. And you can see it's building up pretty quickly here. And so, I'm looking at this achievement list. And so, as we go down, we're about... Well, I don't know, a third? A third of the way through? Or, like, three-fifths? Or, I mean, uh, two-fifths, I guess? Anyway, like, there are some more to get, but they're going to come in, start coming in more slowly. One thing I'm not sure about is this thing. Deposits on the bank account. Um, I don't know. It's a Swiss bank thing. It sounds like they're just going to... Here, let's just, let's, let's read it. <laughs> Generous donors are supporting your efforts of winning the war by making gold deposits into a Swiss bank account for each mission you win to access the vault and make the withdrawal, withdrawal, you have to pay, you'll have to pay a fee to the bank. Minimum balance required for withdrawal is 400. Deposits on the bank account, uh, 345. So we're almost to the point where it seems like we'll be able to make withdrawals. I'm not sure what the fee will be or how this system works, but it seems like it might be another way to get gold. And so the reason I'm talking about gold here and everything is because we're going to buy two more planes. So uh, we're going to buy this one and this one, two more fighters, kind of low end, but I think it'll make these missions go a lot more quickly. And, um, you know, just talking about like continuing the snowballing effect that's that's happening in this game so far. And so we have two hangars. Each hangar can hold three aircraft right here. So right now we only have four aircraft. And so we have room for two more. So let's just fill it up. So we'll buy this one. And we'll buy this one. And we'll go here. And so we need two more fighter pilots. Recruit. And recruit. And then we need to see train them so right here we have a lot of money to train them that's fine they need to be maxed out on their on their skills i it just it makes the missions go so much better where's the other guy did i recruit one that wasn't a fighter i wasn't really paying attention i just kind of like went through really quickly um and i just you know on the assumption that they would all be the same yeah i guess okay well anyway And we'll assign him, so that way we have five fighters now. Yep. We'll do it. And then let's let's go ahead and take... We're going to make it this the default plane. And then we're also going to... Yeah, we don't really need machine gun cooling on the bomber. I would like the maneuverability, though. And 15 gold. I think we can stop there with the silver. At the, at the cost of silver and setting, uh, instead of incurring more gold costs. Because, like I said, I think it'll start slowing down the influx of gold. So, no, I don't think we need that one either. Really, we have maxed out armor, um, engine cooling. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Spent a lot of money there, a lot of resources, but I think it'll be good in the long run. Um... And then since we'll be piloting the bomber, I don't really feel a need. Wait. Awaiting orders. Is that because I'm flying the plane, maybe? This is the bomber pilot. So bomber pilot, fighter pilot, bombardier, and then gunner um, on, on the bomber. But shooting accuracy, 46%. Let's train him up a little bit. 59%. That's not, not amazing. I'll just go over the whole thing. <laughs> we'll max him out and max out our silver. <laughs> and this should be our default plane still. I just want to make sure. It doesn't really matter because I can just switch during the combat. But let's go do this mission here. Um, we're going to do a naval mission. England, North Sea. Objectives, destroy ships. Done. Let's do it. I like it. Look at all those fighters. Heck yeah. Get them, boys. Meanwhile, we're just chugging along here in the bomber, going super duper slow. 
And what do we have? We have 10 bombs. You can see it on the right side of the screen. I got him. And this is the bomber view, um, in case that wasn't obvious. So we're going to go for the bow. I'm going to aim for the bow and hope that... Let's see what that does. Yep. Oh, man. These... Okay, so we're taking fire a little bit. These... These ships are going to take a lot of bombs. We might need more bombers. Let's try to come up behind them. So that way we can get off like two or three bombs. There we go. That's about perfect. Two or three bombs on one run. Bomb away. Or four. <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess... Bandage eliminated. I guess one didn't go off. I don't know what happened there. We're going to try to do that again. I like that. Come around here. We got that maneuverability, right? Enemy fighter For this reason. So we're going to we'll destroy this one. Hopefully this destroys it. Bomb away. There we go. Okay, good deal. And then we're just going to rinse and repeat. And hopefully our fighters are more than capable of taking out enemy fighters at this point. I think they are. We don't have to worry about that so much. Fighter destroyed. Bandit down. Dropping bombs. Yeah, there was one more bomb. I could have dropped it, but the last time I dropped four bombs, it, I don't know. I didn't... It was unclear to me whether that one impacted or not, so I'm not sure if there was a bug in the game, and I just wanted to be cautious here. It was like the one extra bomb will probably matter. It'll take out this boat. Bomb away. Bandit down. There we go. All right, and now we will, I guess... Bandit down. Let's go ahead order. and... We're going to use, um, hmm. So I want to use cannons. Oh, he's got a bomb. I didn't even see that. Se Supermarine Spitfire. Okay, your turn. I just kind of got it because I thought it was a fighter. I didn't really, like, look into it too much. Oh, look at that. That's a different view. Okay. No, let's, let's make another pass. We're going to come in lower. We need to make the one bomb count, I think. And if we miss, then that could be really bad. I like the maneuverability on this plane, though. It's pretty great. It'd be cool if we had a torpedo. Whoa, that was a big bomb, wasn't it? That was like a 250-pound bomb. Let's see, what else do we have? <laughs> He's got cannons. Let's just use it. Let's use this plane, and we'll just keep doing cannons. Or we'll keep on this plane, and we'll switch over to... The cannons. Targeting my Doing a fair amount of damage. We also took a little bit there, but it's not too big of a deal. Use this awesome maneuverability on this thing. Bring her back around for another pass. Taking up. Oh. Mission objective achieved. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. Let's um. Okay, I want to check something out here. Let's stay on the mission, us, and we are going to redirect everyone. Did you hear that, boys? Yeah. Copy that, sir. Actually, how about you go get bombs? And then we're going to switch to um, this. Wait, can I switch this one? Yeah, there we go. Switch to this plane. You go get a bomb. And then. Did you hear that, boys? We're on it. Yeah, well, just check check this out. This is something I haven't really explored yet. Um, Redirecting them to attack, like, the, like the, the non aerial targets. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm focusing on this one. And then, so he's getting hit. Us, yeah, not not that badly though. <laughs> the one that took the most damage was the one that I was piloting. Go figure. I'm focusing on this one. I'm not gonna. Nah, I don't want to do that. Don't want to take any hits. Target one. I'm taking a little. Oh yeah, a little bit of damage there. Get greedy. Bring her back around. I'm yes, yes, we'll just do it. We'll do it. Yep, get two of them, even though we're taking more damage that way. Kind of surprised I didn't crash there. Let's bring her back around. Okay. Yeah, taking a lot of damage there, but oh well. Maybe we'll uh, let the AI kind of take <laughs> take some more, or take some of the 
No, they're... Never mind. They're busy. There we go. Alright, now we'll bring her back around. We'll finish off... The enemy aircraft. Three remaining. If we can get there in time, the AIs... The friendly AIs... Pretty good at... Yeah, and do the thing. There we go. We didn't really get to look at um, how the friendly AI attacked non-aerial targets because those other fighters spawned and we had to. They went and they targeted them. I didn't really want to switch over to um, disallow them from attacking the enemy fighters because they just they do a great job at it. Um, but nice, we got thirty more gold, and let's see what our repair bill is. Oh. The two that I was flying. <laughs> they're, they're all banged up. Damage. 91 silver. Not bad. Not bad. We repaired this plane, sir. It's ready for action. But we'll save that for the next one. I'm going to call this video here. Uh, maybe upgrade. Uh, I'll have to go get some more money before I upgrade. But this game is called Warplanes WW2 Dogfight. Check it out for yourself on Steam. It is free to play. Uh, there are some microtransactions. I do like the monetization of this company, though. It's it's really reasonable, and it's totally unintrusive and not annoying in any way. But thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day, and we'll see you in the next one.